What's up guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay, a small animal veterinarian, and today we're gonna to talk about a common question that I get on veterinary visits, and that is how long can you exercise your new puppy? And today this video is sponsored by the NASC, or National Animal Supplement Council. <laughs> A new puppy like Abby here can be completely weaned from their mom at eight weeks old. And that is when these puppies come home and they're like having a new baby in the house. They need to be fed three times a day. They require their owners to wake up in the middle of the night, sometimes twice to take them out to go to the bathroom, and they require exercise and playtime. New puppies are very wild and bouncy balls of energy. And that's why I get this question so often of how long can we walk our new puppy? because owners want to tire out their puppies so they sleep and everyone can take a break. And the answer is that puppies should have no more than five minutes of exercise per month of age, twice a day. This means that a two month old puppy should have no more than 10 minutes of walking time twice a day. And a five month old puppy would have no more than 25 minutes of walking time twice a day. Puppies' growth plates don't close until they're about one years old. And for some larger breed dogs, such as Great Danes or Standard Poodles, their growth plates may not close until they're one and a half to two years old. But don't be too afraid to let your puppy play and run around like wild in the backyard or living room. Because even though we don't wanna over-exercise them to hurt their growth plates, Puppies' bones also need exercise to increase their bone density and for their bones to also grow properly. A neglected puppy that is kept in a crate too much and not exercised enough will sadly have severe bone growth damage as an adult dog. Puppies less than six months old, like Abby here, who is around four and a half months old, should only do five minutes straight of walking when you exercise them. When your dog turns one years old, you might consider starting them on a joint supplement to help them age. This may seem early, but supporting joint health throughout their life will help them keep active and healthy. Equally important is keeping your dog at a healthy weight because carrying too much weight is very hard on their joints. All right guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something about how much you should be exercising your new puppy or maybe a puppy that you're about to get soon. So in the description below, I'm gonna leave a link to NASC so you guys can browse all the pet supplements that they have. And any member of the NASC who has that yellow quality seal means that their company is committed to the highest level of quality and consistency for their pet supplements. All right guys, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you back here for some more veterinary videos. 